Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley if you are tuning in for the first time. Today I'll be working with IDN to bring you this beautiful straight out of the box install. They provided this beautiful ombre brown lace wig. It's definitely buttery soft. We're going to be putting the curls in it just to give it a little bit of a vibe and look at the bounce and everything, the sheen and everything that it includes. Also the lace is very beautiful and undetectable and you I really wanted to get it right. This vibe. This is going to be in the from the install. In so if you're interested in seeing how I we got this really put up a say this hair is so soft and buttery and so fly it is bussin bussin honestly i just wanted to add a little bit of a leave-in and leave it in its natural state but i'm not gonna do you guys like that i'm gonna give you guys a curl tutorial today also you can see this is what the hairline looks like it's absolutely beautiful very minimal work needed this literally is a cut the lace off bond hair down you might have to cut the excess ends like the sides off like i'm about to do now um it was big for me around the ears which is a good thing because if my cousin who has a way bigger head than me were to use this wig instead of me there was enough lace from ear to ear that her big old wide head would be able to fit this wig and my little QPT head can also fit it i just have to cut off the excess lace around the ear hopefully you can slow this part of it down and kind of just see what I did I pretty much separated all the extra lace and cut it off kind of in the shape of around my ear so that it hugs and fits like a glove and you can always go back in and cut off a little bit more which typically I'll do it once and then I'll have a little smidget more to cut off but I just wanted to share that with you that the lace is fire the hair is fire I'm super excited about this one now let's go ahead and bond her down and install also pay attention to the install I'll show you um, a little bit later um, that I did get a little bit of buckling with the lace it had nothing to to do with the actual wig but more so my technique you guys know typically or lately I've been bonding the wig down while the lace is still attached so going back to my old ways and cutting the lace off first I kind of placed it a little bit wrong and a little bit wonky and then um, once I bonded it down it wasn't pulled tight enough because I was trying to use two hands to do you see I'm trying to use one hand to do this and then the other hand to do that it wasn't necessarily pulled the way it needed to be before I blow dried it and it which caused caused it to buckle so that's just something to be careful of with any wig not just this one um this happens to the best of us and it's very much a simple and easy fix literally just undo it because it's not glued down it's just a glueless adhesive and then rebond it down and you're good to go Hey girl, so I wanted to pretty much point out the elephant in the room. You guys can see here that there is a little bit of imperfection in my lace. It's almost like it's buckling in the front center. Now if I'm honest, I did not notice this at all in the video. It wasn't until I tried to go and make a reel on Instagram after I completed the video that I noticed it, that's how undetectable in person it was. Once I added like the powder and all that at the end, 
but it was a quick and easy fix. I was able to fix it in literally just a couple of steps. I took the um, tail end of my rat tail comb and just kind of lifted that center, pulled the lace forward a little bit, rebonded it down with the same even, and then we were good to go. And then I reset it with my setting powder to tint the lace, and literally we were good to go. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that to you guys because you can clearly see like that there's imperfection, but luckily you won't be able to see that in the pictures that I took because like I said in person it really wasn't that detectable but I just thought I would mention it and let you guys know what was going on with that now carry on with the video <laughs> wave my inner soul make a village glow. You can see the real through my inner scope. Real grows with a field coat. Get my spirit to the pin stroke. Young Westbrook and the rim is low. Sweet tang when I fall through. When I hit the queen with the give and go. I've been getting close. I've been feeling go. I've been in the mode. When my pupils dilated, take the beat and then annihilate it to the siren fade. Fuck a violation. I've been going places. It's no escaping how I ride my wave and chase the Percy Mills with no limitation. Carve a smile with a straight faces. Therapeutic, self medicated. I've been doing fine for a low life. Seeing clear through the low lights. Straight gas for the stove light. Chasing green, all I know is to go. They semi pro when it shows right. Third finger to my old life. I can't lose. Count up the blue. Count the spin that thing we boo. Put on for the crew. It's a cool. Don't got no roof, no, no. So I can shoot for the star being. Yeah. So I can shoot for the star. star so I can shoot. So I can shoot for the star being. Yeah. So I can shoot for the star being. So I can shoot. So I can shoot for the star being. So so I just hit the Brody, what you want? I just caught myself a little map to remind me where I'm from and where I'm going and where I'm at. Oh, the trip shit out my tulips. I talk that true shit. I'm not just trying to smell the roses while I'm still here. I'm at the crib, oh, getting toasted. I'm off the dosage. My mind is blowing, set the blow up from my white mold. Never forfeit much clutch, how the way I close it. Taking more than I can fold. Flip it. Watch it close here. You might pick up on a pro tip. I got the torch, let they want my business to reside right by where they know it. Give my image some distortion. Yeah, bitch, I come from where the floor is. Top ramen bullshit. I used to live off of the more, so now I get portions. Okay, guys, so I love the brown. I love the brown ombre. Dark root always makes it easy to execute. So if you're someone who are so if you're someone who is looking for color, I highly recommend, especially as a beginner or intermediate, that you definitely opt for a dark root. It's also important as a beginner to choose a wig that is of quality. And as you guys have seen with the install of this wig, even straight out of the box, the hairline, the lace, the knots, everything about this one was really ready to go. You don't have to like do too much or like go to Sally's and pick up this whole kit to you know finesse and make this one look amazing it literally comes straight out of the box ready to go with your color um your knots are bleached good knots at that and then it also comes plucked for the gods so with this one um it is 13 by 4 HD lace wig, 20 inches in length, 180% density. It feels like six inches of parting. Doesn't it look like it's a really good amount of parting? Be sure to check the description box to be certain of all the dimensions as well as a direct link. You guys did see in the beginning that there was an adjustable um, elastic band inside. This one is not like the draw strap. It's more of the kind where you kind of like can pull it... Um, this way to make it longer and then you can pull it literally to the opposite end and this is going to make it shorter and even when it's shorter or longer it still has that good stretch to it so I do like these um, if I'm going to use a elastic band but as I always tell you guys because I bond my wigs down I just prefer not to have anything extra back there because I already have braids back there and I just like to keep it a little bit simple back there um, 
There was a duck, I think this was in there, a duck bill clip, and as well as your wig caps. There was two of these duck bill clips. One had just failed during the unboxing. And then here is a rat tail comb. They also included the flyaway tamer. You guys know I use the wax stick from bdeckbeauty.com, but this is very similar. So if you purchase this wig, you, you know, you already have something um, very similar. And then a little thank you card. Um, ID in hair stands for I define natural. So I love that it has a nice positive meaning to the name. Um, and then this is the Janet Ombre Chocolate Brown colorway. It's actually a 13 by six. So the tag, I think um, I misspoke. The tag said 13 by four, but the um, details that they gave me is 13 by six, which I figured, but I didn't know why that said 13 by four. HD lace front wig. Enter coupon code Ashley20, which is my personal code, and you'll get money off. It is clean, bleached scalp, 20 inches in length, 180% density. The texture is wavy. The lace type is real HD lace. Melt into the skin, clean hairline, no plucking needed anymore. And then um, my cap is a size medium. There's three different types of knots, I guess. You have normal knots, which usually will have three to four strands of hair in every hole. Invisible knots usually have two to three strands of lace every hole. And then there are scalp knots, which this is. And with scalp knots, there are one to two strands um, for it one to two strands every lace hole and then it just basically means that like you guys know when you see the knots and it's super thick it's because they took a cluster of um hair and they put it in there and then knotted it at the root or the lace but with this one they put half the amount um meaning one to two pieces of hair and knotted it so that makes it a lot more fine and undetectable absolutely gorgeous again i highly recommend this wig and if the color is not your jam of course they have natural colors but the texture is so buttery soft and it just gives such a natural vibe very much on the classy side you won't regret this purchase i'm going to go ahead and have all the information in the description box including a list and link of everything we use to complete this look thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches